What's up guys, Prince of Master on Vlogs here back at Universal Studios. We're gonna do the six house tour for Halloween Horror Nights. This is a daytime tour for Unmasking the Horror. We get to walk through six of the houses today with the lights turned on. Today's house, we have uh, three originals, Dueling Dragons, the Yeti Campground Kills, and we also have the Blood Moon. And then we have three IP houses. We have Stranger Things, uh, Chucky, Ultimate Kill Count, and then we have, what is the, oh, Universal Monsters. All right guys, so I'm back for this uh, tour, but this time it's a six house tour, as I said earlier. And somebody wanted me to, to get a better look at these costumes. I believe this one's from Bugs Eaten Alive. And let's see here, I don't know if you can see it, it's a little dark right here. But they put a lot of work into a costume that's gonna be just seen in the dark. And I believe this one is from the scare zone that, is, that was next to the, uh, the mummy area. And uh, I will take pictures of this one as well. Somebody wants to make a tattoo out of this. Hey, something different than the three house tour. For the six house tour, you get this little, uh, this little button here, which is actually pretty nice. I'm gonna put this in my backpack. So you guys know the drill by now. I can't film inside the houses, so I'm just gonna present to you guys a photo slideshow, which I'll talk over because you need to hear my voice. The first house we did was Universal Monsters Unmasked. This house features some very solid set design that puts you in the catacombs of Paris. As a note, for all these house tours, there are certain rooms you are allowed to take pictures inside of. The tour guide will tell you which rooms you can photograph in. This particular poster roughly translates as, This is a French poster. This makes no sense at all. We're just having fun. The Paris setting is a perfect backdrop for featuring the Phantom of the Opera, the Invisible Man, the Hunchback of Notre Dame, and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. We just finished our first house, Universal Monster. Taking a quick restroom break. That house is so awesome and our tour guides are awesome. They're giving us time to take pictures inside of these, these houses we are allowed to. This house gets a lot of hate from people, but I absolutely love this house. It's meant to be fun and funny and bloody. Sure, there's some weird stuff in here, but if you're a Chucky fan, I think you'll find this house to be very amusing. I definitely enjoyed seeing the Chucky house with the lights on. You'll hear a very maniacal laughter. The lighting will start to flicker. That means that odd fellow in that area. So it's kind of cool. I think I have my best selfie ever. If you guys remember Dead Man's Pier from last year's Halloween Horror Nights, the guy who designed that house also designed this year's Blood Moon house. And it shows. Blood Moon features some very fantastic, elaborate, and immersive sets that really makes you feel like you're inside this world they built. This house features some of the best set designs for this year. They could absolutely film a TV show in here if they wanted to. Alright, they dismissed us. We get an hour break for lunch. I don't know where I'm going to eat. Maybe City Walk? Maybe in the park? I don't know. God, this is so awesome. I made it back. My socks are wet though. So effectively, I'm going to be uh, uh, slightly uh, uncomfortable for the rest of the, the tour. There's still three more houses left. So after the very wet lunch I had, we went right into the Stranger Things 4 house. The Stranger Things 4 house reenacts some very iconic scenes from the fourth season of the TV show. The upside down section was so trippy, and I made sure to take as many pics as I could in the rooms they allowed us to. And uh, don't ask me why I'm using my telekinetic powers against Max. The Dueling Dragons house was probably the best stop in the six house tour because there's only one room in this entire house that you can't take pictures inside of. And uh, there are some really unbelievable sets in this medieval fantasy house which pays homage to the old ride from the Islands of Adventure Park. I really couldn't believe they let us take pictures by these two dueling dragons because the scene is very climactic and very iconic. And just like the ride, we were able to choose our path and everyone chose the most obvious path. We all chose both paths the fire path, and then the ice path. Alas, our sixth and final house of the day was the Yeti house. This was a sequel house to the previous Yeti house from 2019. This particular house was set in the Rocky Mountains in the 1950s, so kind of that 1950s uh, campy vibe. Um, the house is pretty cute if you wanted to see what a baby Yeti looks like. This baby Yeti happened to be dead, but at least we know what it would look like. This was the last house of the tour, so I made sure to snap as many pics as I could when we were allowed to. All right, guys, six houses done behind the screens, uh, unmasking the horror tour. I highly recommend the uh, the behind the scenes tour if you're a HHN, HHN fan. I've done the three house already. If you want to check the link, you can watch that video. But I also did the six house tour. The only house we did not get to see 
was The Exorcist, which is sad because that was one of my, that's one of my favorite houses this year so far. But the other nine houses I got to do, I take tons of pictures. Uh, for the six house tour, um, one, of the, one of the ladies in my group uh, took a lot of pictures for me and I did the same for her. She was from Louisiana, so I want to give her a big shout out. Thanks for helping me take pictures inside. Um, but yeah, this is such a great experience to be with other HHN fans and seeing these houses with the lights on where you can appreciate the, the set designs. So uh, that's really cool. By the way, look at my shirt. Try to make it a point to show off all my shirts in my HHN videos. I have 13 shirts right now, so I want to show each one off in a, in a video. I think I'm down to like four more I got to show. But anyways, that was the experience for the six house tour. Again, uh, I, we couldn't take video inside those houses, only pictures. That's why I, I narrated and, and did a slideshow for you guys. But leave your comments. Which houses do you want to see on a behind the, behind the screens tour?